Hey guys. So, as I situate, this is my December empties. Um, I do warn you that this is not all beauty. In fact, um, there is some food things that we'll be talking about that I was unable to get into a favorites video to talk about. And so, um, I'll talk about them now. <laughs> So the first thing, you guys know, you guys may know, I know I've mentioned it, but uh, I got a Keurig. I, it was kind of my Christmas present, one of them to myself. And so um, they send, the. I got it on QVC, and it was the Today Special Value, uh, beginning of December maybe? So they send you several boxes of K-Cups so that you have something to start with. Now, of course, I can go to my Kroger, my Walmart, my Kmart, and I can pick up K-Cups, or I can order them on Keurig.com. Um, and I've done that. One of the things that I ran out of is the Dunkin' Donuts K-Cups. The original blend is amazing. Um, I blew through these. This was the first box that I ran out of. Um, it is my favorite coffee K-Cup that I have gotten so far. Absolutely love it. And I found out that I don't have to go to Dunkin' Donuts. According to the circular, my Kmart has these, so I will be getting some. Um, the next thing is something you have seen a lot before. It's just another one of the Tums Ultra 1000s. Um, I didn't go through them near as fast this time because I am eating a little better, and so I don't need it as much. So there's that. I finished a Freeman Barefoot Lavender Mint Foot Cream with Tea Tree Oil. I don't really love it. I, I went back and forth, and I it does soak in very quickly, but um, I don't like the smell. I think that the, I don't know what it is. It smells, I liked it at first, but it got very overwhelming. But um, when it comes to drugstore foot cream, if I were out and could not get anything, I was originally of the mind that I would buy this. But then I tried the Tree Hut hand cream and body butter, and uh, I like those so much better for foot creams. So no, I would not repurchase it. Um, the next thing is something limited edition that would have been in a favorites had I had the time to do one, but my schedule has been so cram-packed that I haven't been able to do favorites that much. So, um, this is the Swiss Miss Candy Cane Cocoa. I recommend that if you like this kind of stuff, that you go to your nearest Walmart or Kroger or Kmart and go looking for these uh, because I'm not a person that normally likes pre-made hot cocoa. I like, you know, how you get the, the Hershey's cocoa and the vanilla and the milk and all that stuff and, you know, crumble up your own um, candy canes or peppermints in it. But this stuff is amazing. It's absolutely delicious and I'm very sad that I'm out of it. I am going to be going to the store hopefully this weekend and I'll be looking to see if they have more. Another one of the um, K-Cups that was sent to me through my QVC purchase was the Green Mountain Coffee Three Continent Blend. I like it, but it was a little stronger. Um, what I would normally have to do is, when it ran out, I would take the K-Cup out and then put three or four ounces, I think it's 3.25 ounces is the smallest, of water um, just to diffuse it because it was a little bit strong but it was still really good I liked it it's just not my favorite and apparently Green Mountain Coffee are the people that make Keurig who knew um I bought these at Kroger and these are Green Mountain Naturals hot apple cider these are delicious I blew through them in like a month um and I am pretty excited last night I swear I had four cups because I got home from work a little early and I was cold and I just couldn't stop drinking them. But yes, these are amazing. And if you have, if you like apple cider and you have a Keurig, go check for these because they're awesome. Um, let's see. I finished. This is Buxom Lip Gloss in Lola. Um, I will not be repurchasing this, repurchasing this because of course bare minerals or buxom is not it buxom is a bare minerals brand and it's not cruelty free but um, I love these your lips but better colors and oh I'm sorry it's not Lola my bad this is Renee <laughs> sorry about that um, 
see, I have too many colors that look the same. But this is Renee. I got this because Renee's my middle name. So, uh, yeah, I won't be repurchasing that, but I very much did enjoy it. I'm not sure if I could, even if I wanted to, because I think it was in a kit. Um, I finished up one of the e.l.f. volume plumping mascaras, and it's just in black. I was very impressed by the brush. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, I'm being confused. No, this is, this is not the one I was impressed by. This is the volume plumping mascara, and it just has like an average fluffy wand, which I normally actually kind of dig, but, um, it flaked off so bad, and no, I wouldn't I wouldn't repurchase this, and I would not recommend that anybody purchases this, because it just flaked off so bad, and it would just, I, eyelashes coming out when I took it off at night, bad, bad, bad. I finished up a jar of Nutella. I love this stuff. Um, I did recently try the Justin's Hazelnut Almond Butter, um, and so it's a mixture of Nutella and Almond Butter, and I love the texture of that. Um, but it's something that I either have to go 20 minutes away to get, um, for $10 a jar, or I have to order it from Vitacost for $8 a jar. And then you can get it in the little packets at my Kroger 20 minutes away. Um, and that is, um, like 99 cents each. But yes, I love Nutella. I buy a jar every so often. I did finish a box of tea. This is the Country Peach Passion Celestial Seasonings. Um, I really love this. I am more of a fan of it in the summer, and I make iced tea out of it. I like it better that way. Let's see here. I finished, you guys remember BFF, which was that little sample, and so I finished that Bare Minerals eyeshadow. Um, not repurchasing it, of course, because it is not cruelty free, and I don't think I could even if I even if I wanted to, because it was in a kit. Um, Jeff has recently released cashew butter and almond butter, and I picked up the cashew butter. Um, Dumb me didn't read the back. It does have um, hydrogenated oils in it, and I usually buy natural peanut butters and nut butters to avoid that. Um, it's okay. Um, if you've never had natural um, cashew butter, um, you would probably like this. I liked it, but I don't like it as much as a natural cashew butter where it's basically cashews and salt in a food processor because I love cashews. Um, it's okay, and I might repurchase it because it was like $3 or something. But um, it's not something that I would um, rush out and have to have. Okay. This one I did not finish. This is the Mally Ever Color um, Waterproof Eyeliner in Navy. Um, the color um, is, number one, it skips. And the color is nowhere near as dark as it should be. And... Um, it comes off from my lower lash line. It comes off in flakes from my water line. Um, so I'm just tossing it because I'm never going to use it. Um, I finished a Dagoba Mint lip balm. I love these. They are available on ecolips.com and I would repurchase it. Um, I just, you know, I've never ordered anything from the website. I actually got this from a friend. Um, but yes, I absolutely love it. It's all natural. And it's like three three bucks each. Um, someday I'm going to get on ecolips.com and pick up three or four lip balms. But yes, I absolutely recommend it and it's awesome. I finished up another one of those little e.l.f. eye primers, the dollar one. I would consider repurchasing it, but I've actually found something I like better, which is the Pop Beauty Eye Magnet Primer, and so it, I probably won't be repurchasing that anytime soon. Okay, um, my Angelic Blush from Tarte cracked and broke, so it's all empty, and I would repurchase it if I could, but you can't have it. I finished a... Lip Balm from Jack Black. Love this stuff. This was my holy grail. Um, and yes, I would repurchase it. I have a sample of the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream in light 
medium. I did enjoy it, but Smashbox is not cruelty-free, so I won't repurchase it. And the last thing here is the Mineral Volumizing Mascara. Um, no, I would not repurchase it. Um, it dried out and flaked really fast. So that's everything. You guys have a great one.